fourth position on the cello is here. E, F, G. There are lots of variations on these that would still be considered fourth position. Certainly anything where my first finger is on E would be fourth position, so E, F natural, G, or E, F sharp, G, are just a couple of examples. There are also the extended positions in fourth position, like E, F sharp, G sharp. Remembering the rule will always help you identify positions, which is wherever my first finger is, that is the position I am in. E flat, F, G would be another example of extended fourth position. But this is where the position numbers get a little fuzzy since we use letter names to identify them. D sharp is inharmonic to E flat, meaning they are the same pitch. If I am playing D sharp, F, G, do I call it third position? Even though it sounds the same as E flat, F, G? It's a conundrum, but it's still important to know the position so that you can speak the language of cello, and anytime you understand the vocabulary, you will perform better.